I'm Gerald Cecil, Assembly Manager for Smith Services, a part of Timken Power Systems. Today, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about vacuum pressure impregnation, or VPI as it's more commonly known. Please note that this video covers just the highlights of our capabilities and the general VPI process and is not intended as a step-by-step -step guide. What is VPI? VPI is a process to seal porous material and create a void-free insulation system. Because there are so many issues such as environment, temperature, age, and operating conditions that can shorten the life cycle of your electromechanical equipment, the VPI process is essential to help functionality and increase the longevity of your equipment. To illustrate this process, I have a pre-VPI and a post-VPI cross-section of a form coil. In the pre-VPI coil, as you can see, the insulation material is porous and there are voids in between the turns of each coil section. If you'll look at the post-VPI cross-section of this same coil, you can see that the insulation system is rigid and solid and all the voids between the turns in this cross section have been filled. Ultimately, this is what we're looking for in your equipment. Here at Smith Services, we have three VPI systems, a five foot system, an eight foot system, and a 12 foot system, which is one of the largest on the East Coast. The VPI process is a seven step procedure which starts with preheating. The preheating process evaporates moisture and allows the resin to better penetrate the material. The next step, the dry vacuum process, removes any air and any remaining moisture. This is followed by filling, which is where we will fill the process tank to a level that completely covers the material which we wish to process. Wet vac is the fourth step. This is used to further reduce the vacuum levels. After this, it enters the pressure stage, which is applied with dry air for deep penetration of the resin. Step six is the draining stage, where the pressure is vented and the resin drained back to the storage vessel to allow us to remove the part for the final step of curing, where the part is removed from the process tank. Once exited from the tank, all excess resin is removed and the part is placed in a preheated oven for a designated period of time. To demonstrate this process, we have taken a stator out of a 1,000 horsepower, 4,000 volt motor and subjected it to the VPI process. The end result is illustrated in the before and after photos. For more information about Smith Services, visit our website at smithservices.com.